This is Florida, known for its many sites of historical importance, such as the famous Cape Canaveral and Okie Dokie Swamp. Here lives the hungriest denizen of the Everglades, Gabby Gator. Man, I'm starving. This is a chef of bologna. I'm gonna show you how to prepare a one fine fowl meal. First, you pick a one fine plump chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you add a plenty of chef of bologna sauce. Don't that look yummy? <laughs> I can't stand no more of that. This is David Fussykind presenting Closed End. We have with us that famous Hollywood star of stage, screen, and television, Woody Woodpecker. Woody has volunteered to be the first woodpecker shot into outer space. Man, he'd make a fine woodpecker stew. In one hour, Woody will be at Cape Canaveral. Oh, he will, will he? <laughs> This old water tower will make a dandy space rocket. Well, well, here I am in Florida. Cape Canaveral. This way. No, that way. Well, that's an odd switch. Space General G. Gator, Cape Canaveral. Space volunteer W. Woodpecker reporting for duty, sir. You'll be taking off at 0315. Follow me, cadet. Hup, two, three, four. Hup, two, three, four. Nobody, hold. Now, I'm going to cue you in on the nomenclature of the component parts. Top side, the nose cone, of course. The fifth stage rocket, now that follows the fourth stage. And the incinerator is to decinerate the afterburner. And this is the air cooling system. Oh, boy. I bet this rocket makes a lot of racket. And here is the main part, where the pilot fries. Uh, uh, lies. Gee, I can't wait for the takeoff. Right away, son. Hop in and start the countdown. OK, General. See you on the moon. <laughs> I'm going to eat that woodpecker. <laughs> oh, boy. Man, he's going to taste good. <laughs> I must have forgot to pay my gas bill this year. And I ain't got no quarter. Hey, General, when's the takeoff? Oh, that was just a dry run. First, you gotta pass the rigid space fitness test. Now, this is the atmospheric resistance chamber. Hop right in, boy. Anything for science, General. Fine. Now we'll accelerate the tenderizer. I mean, pressurizer. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that woodpecker. <laughs> oh, boy. Man, he's... Now what's wrong? Doggone it, nothing works around here. Okay, Buster, I passed that test. Not so fast, boy. Now you gotta take a whirl in the centrifugal atmospheric survival tank. You know? These are space reduction pellets to decastify your corpuscles so you won't come unglued in outer space. Thank you, General. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that woodpecker. <laughs> Man, he's gonna taste good. <laughs> General, I'm getting tired of the delay. Look, son, rockets cost two billion, three and a half million, and twenty-five cents. And I'm short just one quarter. Well, why didn't you say so? Here's a quarter. We'll have you fly it in no time. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Hey, General, aren't you going to watch the takeoff? If that little Woody was a wee bit fatter, I'd need more turnips and a much bigger platter. So, that's his dirty game, eh? What are you doing out of there? The uh, thingamajig is stuck. The thingamajig?
what happened. Where am I? You two to wound. That little fella's after ice. I win. No penguins allowed on the premises, son. Run along, boy. Adios. Adios means goodbye in French. Yes, sir. I'm a hunter, and I want a room. Yes, sir. And I don't want to be bothered. Yes, sir. And if I am, I'll blast you like this. <laughs> you understand? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> that boy has a temper. Had bellboy smadly speaking. Send up my baggage right away. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. That's you know who. Tasmanian devil. That's the worst kind. Smadly speaking. I told you to bring up my baggage. Yes, sir. You numbskull! Your baggage, sir. Don't stand there. Unpack them, hang up my clothes, polish my boots, and get my dinner and be quick about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Out you go, boy. Smadly speaking. I'm telling you, 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 I'
Don't worry, sir. I'll take care of it. Hell yeah, I can love you, do 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 Your goose is cooked, boy. Now you're gonna get, whoops. Come back here, boy. I got you surrounded. Smartly speaking. lunch, or I'll break every bone in your hide. Yes, sir. Lunch coming right up, sir. Here it is, sir. Your lunch. Nice work, boy. From now on, you are my guest. Okay? Okay. It's all right? It's all right. It's all right. Surprise! Surprise! Come and see the big surprise! What is it, Charlie? Yeah. What you got, Pop? Show it to us, Daddy. Put it up! Oh, how nice. Oh, boy! TV! Oh, goody, goody. Let's watch it. What do you want to show? Who oh, turn it on, Daddy? <laughs> it's broken. I want to see your show. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I paid three hundred dollars, and all I get is zigzag lines. Well, you grab and stand and make it on a four flex and forward a four flex in a stock race talk. What did the man say, Charlie? He says we need an antenna on the roof, and they cost $25. Well, we better have them put one up there. Oh, no, we won't. I will do it myself and save $25. <laughs> oh, for gosh sakes. Junior! Get me out of here! Whoa! You big nut! Look what you did to my ladder!
for me, will you please? through the window. I want to leave the snow and blizzards, go out west among the lizards, sleep with coyotes out beneath the prairie sky. Do a lot of quick drop practice, panning gold and eating cactus. We out west is where I want to live and die. Oh, boy, I'm pooped. Pardon me, please. Is this the West? Who? You, that's who. Is this the West? Who? Can't you answer a simple question? Who? Okay, wise guy. You asked for it. Who? Sorehead. 
around here someplace.
big fat bird, you got a chance to magic words. Igga bigga, igga digga, igga bigga stew. Igga bigga, igga digga, igga bigga stew. We now present today's charming speaker, Miss Bettina Blabber. Oh, thank you. My lecture today shall pertain to the cult of voodooism. <laughs> Telegram for Mrs. Bettina Blabber. Quiet, young man. I'm on the air. <laughs> uh, voodoo is still practiced in the more primitive regions. Ah, fooey. In fact, certain alligators have been known to practice this witchcraft to obtain food. Hogwash. One side, sister. Voodoo, schmoodoo. Voodoo is a big fake. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll stick him with a little black magic. Ouch! What was that? Now, as I was saying, voodoo is for the birds. Whoops! Oh, this is most embarrassing. Now I'll give him my triple whammy. And now, my little Doubting Thomas, cocktail for two. <laughs> Laugh at old Gabby, will you? <laughs> now I'm getting hungry for a woodpecker stew. Come to me, my little pigeon. Now, as I was saying... Coming, master. <laughs> oh, boy, that woodpecker's gonna taste good. Delicious! Voodoo brew, toil and trouble, kettle start to boil and bubble. Well, let's not overdo it. Coming. Coming, master. Coming, master. Yo, oh boy, here he comes. I better put another jolt in him. Boy, my favorite dish, planked woodpecker. Step right in. Hey, where am I? What happened? You dirty double crosser. Zoe, I'm wise to your game. Goodbye. Man, I gotta work fast. Big fat trance. I am? Okay, so I'm in a trance. <laughs> He's got a smart head on him. I better shrink it. Instant head shrink. Hey, little fella. I got a nice surprise for you. Sure he has. How nice of you. Whoops, sorry. I got a little bitty head. Well, how'd you like a fat head, fat head? <laughs>
I say, don't make a voodoo, boo-boo. <laughs> I made a funny. Ah, dry up. <laughs> Like I said, voodoo is for the birds. carpeted Timberland Mountains, the tallest living thing on earth, surrenders to the call of the mighty lumberjack. Timber! Lumberjacking is a very strenuous job that taxes every muscle of the body and can sometimes be a mental strain as well, causing porous fatigue spots before the eyes and the wibbly wobbles. When this happens, the unstrung tree chopper must pack his gear and hit out for a quiet place to rest. Smedley's rest home, two miles. Oh boy! When I get to the rest home, I take hot bath to fix up the nervous breakdown. Uh-oh, a customer. Come in. Come in, sir. I want a nice, quiet room with no noise. Yes, sir. I got to have plenty of rest. Because I am just a bundle of seat nerves. <laughs> now bring the bags and we go upstairs to the room. Here you are, sir. Nice soft bed, private bath, and a refrigerator full of goodies. Have a nice quiet rest, sir. <laughs> a little peace and quiet will fix him up just fine. milk, I turn around, it's gone. Watch. I better go to bed now. I need your rest. Ready, sir. I hope he's not too mad. I'll get you some food to quiet your nerves. Huh? Oh no, it can't be. It is. Oh boy. Oh, 
fire and thaw you out. There we are. Oh, gosh. In about another half hour, he'll be coming back down. I better get out of here. I guess he's real mad. Save my life, Chili. What'll you have for a reward? Oh, a glass of milk. Milk? Yes, glass of milk. Hmm. You like milk? Yes, I like. Wait here, Chili. I'll get a glass of milk. have their picture in the high school paper. Listen to this. Charles Berry Jr. has been elected cheerleader, and Susie Berry will be new majorette in high school band. Isn't that just fine, Charlie? Yes, dear. I guess. Rah, rah, this boom, bop. Ricky, Ricky, boom, man, Ricky, Ricky, rah. Rah, rah, I am, huh? Ricky, rack, the rack, the rack. Ricky, rack, the rack. Someday I'm gonna... Daddy, you want to watch me twirl my baton? All right, sweetheart. Ow! <laughs> Daddy broke my baton! Mother! Daddy broke my baton! Well, I... 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 <laughs> Well, I, I... Uh... Why don't you learn to control your temper? Ooh, these dignified... Rah, rah, rickety rack. Go get a rat trap bigger than a cat trap. Go get a cat trap bigger than a rat trap. Yay, team. I'll just play that back. Rah, rah, rickety rack. Go get a rat trap bigger than a cat trap. Go get a cat trap bigger than a rat trap. that thing.
Stop! Rackety rack a rack a rack. Stop! Stop! Charlie, stop that yelling. You're disturbing the whole neighborhood. Me? I wasn't. It, it, it. Don't try to blame it on Junior. I saw you. I've had enough of this. <laughs> Junior, get me out of here. Coming, Pop. <laughs> Now look what you did. Pull this thing off of me. <laughs> Junior, you better do something. Be right back, Pop. Dig this crazy hi-fi. <laughs> now get me out of here. What are you doing to Junior? Get me out of here! <laughs> Mother! <laughs> You learn to control your temper. But, but, I, 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 uh... Oh, boy. I'm gonna get some peace and quiet around here. Susie, get rid of that thing. My 
tea. You hear? Bring me my tea. Coming, Master Scrooge. When I want something, I want it fast. The tea is served, sir. Stop that infernal chatter and put the sugar in. Yes, sir. One donkey, two donkey. One donkey's enough, you numbskull. You think money grows on trees? I have a feeling dear old Uncle Scrooge will welcome me with open arms. Ah, there's Uncle Scrooge's house. He has a path leading right to his door. How oh, nice. Down, boys, down. And let that be a lesson to you. Don't waste my sugar. Be here. I hear bells, sir. Yeah. I'm Scrooge's nephew. Step aside. Oh, Unky, I'm here. It's me, your little nephew, Woody. Good news, Unky. I'm moving in with you.
true-life story you are about to see was lifted from the files of the Bunko Squad. We call it the case of the gullible woodpecker. Man, is he loaded. What do I use on this pitch? Brooklyn Bridge. Ah, Pony Treasure, man. A person obsessed with greed is easy prey for the confidence man. One third class ticket on the Queen Mini. right to the police, this would never have happened. 17 paces to north. I think I'm getting warm. Yikes! Fire extinguishers! I'll take one. Get your late treasure map right here, 40 bucks. Now, 10 paces south, 6, 7, 8, had gone right to the police, this would never have happened. right to the police, this would never have happened. I would like to deposit this for a rainy day. Yes, sir. It looks kind of stormy now. gone right to the police. Ah, uh, shut up! 
In a moment, you will see how we close the file on the case of the gullible woodpecker. My money! <laughs> A lone rider braves the searing sun and scorching sand. It is that intrepid, dedicated symbol of law and order, Inspector Willoughby. That's me, folks. Inspector Willoughby is on his way to return the fabulous, priceless jewel, the red-eyed ruby. Isn't it a beaut? Wow. <clears throat> Which was stolen by that notorious jewel thief, Yeggs Benedict. That's me, folks. It was taken from the forehead of the green idol in the tomb of King Tut Tut Almond, home of the red eyed ruby. There it is, the green idol. How do you do, green idol? I am Inspector Willoughby. How do you do? 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 I have come to return the red-eyed ruby to its rightful owner. Man, a million bucks with the red-eyed ruby. Well, mission accomplished. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye already. <laughs> Now, where have I seen that face before? Ah, yes, Gabe Benedict, international jewel thief. Hmm, he is after but one thing. I shall have to guard the red-eyed ruby with all my cunning skill. Open the door! Open up! Uh, what's the password? Uh, uh, um... Why, swordfish. Yeah, swordfish. All righty. It was really halibut. This calls for a little strategy. Ah, Sahib Inspector, I am Sheik Sik Abed. My heart flows with gratitude that you have restored the red-eyed ruby to us. It is our custom to, like, uh, throw a blowout for you. A real bomb. My, it looks nice. Grenade of suckle and pig. You can have the apple. Oh, thank you. Mmm. Good. Excellent. Hey, save some for me. Bye, Green Idol. Oh, now, time for the dancing goyles. Now, where's them dancing goyles at? <laughs> now for the ruby. Uh-uh, I wouldn't do that. Give me the ruby. Which hand do you choose? Uh, this one. That one. Uh, this one. That one. That one? Now, which hand do you choose? Oh, oh, oh. Now, let's see. Uh, 
Which hand shall I take? This one or that one? Hmm. I'll take a chance on this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Where's the ruby? Which hand do you take now? I take both of them. Resort to subterfuge. Okay, let me have it. I got it. I got it. I got the red eyed ruby. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. Well, mission accomplished. Cheaters never prosper. That's the end of this who done it. I seen my duty and I done it.
fiery cot. He's fiery cold. He's fiery dinner pot. And he's Starting tonight on a 20-year trek into darkest Africa are the two noted big game hunters, Mr. and Mrs. J.T. Moneybelt. <laughs> my, my 50 bucks!
Okay, next. Okay, next. Okay, next. must get through. It means life or death. Oh, gosh. Don't you worry. I'll fly you through.
Parque Folhas Verdes. Alô, turma, eu sou um cachorro. Eu cuido de todas as árvores aqui. Gosto muito de árvores. Se eu aguardo essas arvorezinhas, elas vão crescer, meus amiguinhos. Que lindo brotinho. A cegonha passou por aqui. Que belezinha. Bilo, bilo, bilo. Tudo bem agora? É um lindo nenezinho. Meus parabéns. Você é o miserável de pica-pau. Eu gosto muito de árvores, mas não gosto de pica-paus. Não se assuste, Tudo. Ele não voltará. Gertrudes é a árvore mais velha de nosso parque. Às vezes ela fica nervosa à toa, sabe? Que palhaço! Falando com árvore. Ei, tu da minha velha, eu vou fazer uma brincadeira com ele. Oh, não. Gertrudes, não, não, espera, não, não, calminha não, toda, calminha não, minha não, velha, oh, não puxa. Oh, eu espero que não mais. seja tarde. Ele vai tirar a temperatura, eu vou arranjar uma. Poxa vida, lá vai um pedrão. Eu nunca vi temperatura tão alta assim. Oh, mãe! Ah, essa está tremendo! É, então isso ela vai sarar. Diga! Poxa, não é tão ruim assim. Agora vamos tomar o pulso. Poxa, é o pulso mais pulsante que já tomei. É melhor ouvir o coração. Então ele quer ouvir batidas? Que tal essa? Pobre toda, vai ser preciso operar. Isso vai dar uma dorzinha. Clorofila. Bem, tudo isso vai doer, mas é só uma picadinha. Ei, você é o que está vendo aqui? Ah, então é você de novo. É proibido ficar paus neste parque. Você está incomodando as Gertrudes. Ah, oh, palhaço, você não é médico, é um cachorro. Por que não vai cavar buracos por aí? Bem, tá okay. certo. Sim, mas que burro! Ah, que droga! Agora vou tapar esse buraco com cimento. Quer levantar o pé, por favor? Ah, claro. E agora levante o outro. Tá bem. E agora pode abaixar. Tá certo. Obrigado, filho. Pau. 
Panquecas, 10 pratas cada. Pelo barulho parece ser um louco preguês. As suas ordens, rapaz. O que vai ser? Uma pilha de panqueca? Com bastante de manteiga? Bastante geleia? Já não tem uma pilha de panquecas no capriz? Boas? Boas? Boas manteiga? Boas geleia? Boas? Muita manteiga? Muita geleia? Boas? Boas? Certo? Mais manteiga? Não tem de quê? Panqueca, 60 pratas. Pode primeiro e coma depois. Desculpe, filho, mas eu não posso tocar o meu negócio com pendura. Arranje o serviço, rapaz. Cabe de mim. Pianista, precisas. Show me 
Curso de Twist, Urso Júnior. E aqui está o seu prêmio, um macaco de verdade. Ei, você é engraçadinho. Vou te levar para casa. Vou te chamar de caco. Caco, o macaco. If my dad finds you here, he'll kick us both out. Cut it down with the monkey shine. I'll hide you here in the closet. Sai com as mãos pra cima. Um, One, dois, two, three. três, três. 
The monkey, he's gone. Monkey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Escova de dente elétrica. Charlie, why are you brushing your teeth at a time like this? Bessie, either that monkey goes or I go. Well, goodbye, dear. Yes, goodbye. We're going to miss you. Get a little dog in the pregnant spot. Oh, you Oh, hi, Scooby, Scooby, maestro. maestro. 
Já fui mesmo um bizarrado. Desculpe. Escada automática. Oh! 
don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs>
three, two, one. you wanted and the diamond ring huh honey honey hello hello huh honey hello too excited to talk no doubt <laughs> well now for more golden eggs love that goose mm -hmm. for a living dog gooseberry pudding <laughs> always kidding around Come on, baby. Let's have an egg now. Ow! That's smart. I'll get some eggs by crook or hook. A strike. <laughs> Gold strike, that is.
take those, Goofy. The eggs. <laughs> At last I got the golden eggs. Oh, boy. <laughs> Shopping trip? Hello, dear. I'm uh, er, uh, <laughs> afraid I spent a lot of money. Oh, that's all right, dear. I got a surprise. My house! What happened to my house? Now, now, hold it. Don't get excited, my dear. We don't need this house anymore. You see, we have a goose that lays golden eggs. And we are rich. Golden eggs. Huh. Clank? Clank? It's real. It's a real golden egg. We're rich. We're rich. Oh, money. Golden olive. <laughs> vacation. you remember me, Daddy-O? A moose face. And I come back to marry your daughter. Uh, you Hollywood pony. Pony? Check the ratings, Chiefy. I'm a big TV star. Boy, you prove you Indian brave. You bring back meat for cooking pot. Then we make marriage talk. And take off crazy pale face clothes. Keep the pot hot, Pop. Be back quick to claim the chick. Ah, the natives are restless today. No 
potatoes. You look a little upset, Kimosabi. On your feet and get some meat. <laughs> Bully get away with that? Go get him, tiger! You're doing fine, champ. He didn't lay a glove on you. We'll get him this round. You got him worried, Rocky. Take a sniff of this. Now get him! Just a cotton picking minute. You trying to get me killed? Yeah? Uh, where are we going, crazy horse? I'm taking you to dinner. <laughs> oh, Kino. What you put in pot, huh? Uh, what do you say to a little woodpecker fricassee? Oh, no. <laughs> Keep your eye on the pot, man, because pretty soon a woodpecker is going to drop in. Ah, oh, now, ain't that clever. Every cup! My baby doll. Hmm. Him kind of skinny. But a deal's a deal. You get him, daughter. You can't cook this cute little birdie. Oh, my irresistible charm wins again. Sorry, we can't stay for dinner. <laughs> Social highlight of the year, the opening of the concert season. The who's who of the social register is present for this auspicious occasion. And now the distinguished conductor makes his appearance. The maestro approaches the podium. <laughs> is raised.
our games it is, eh? Quite a bit of trouble. As a matter of fact, for a while it was a question of who stops who. Here. <laughs> Don't worry, he won't hurt you. He stopped. Now this one here, uh, I ran out of stopping. <laughs> this one almost got away. 
And this one here, folks, is the rhino. Uh, 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 this is the camelback, uh, uh, a fishtail zebra. There, to tell the truth, I made that one up on some odd pieces I had left over. Now this little dumb cop, boy, he was the worst one of them all. Let me tell you how I finally outsmarted the little Gustoka on capturing him. One day, while I was out looking for specimens for stuffing, Aha! That sounds like a woodpecker pecking. My, what a fine specimen! Say, kiddo, how would you like to be stalked, eh? Thanks, but I just ate. Maybe some other time? <laughs> what a sense of humor. Say, kiddo, you're pretty sharp there. <laughs> Wonderful sense of humor. So, while I was resting, I was planning my next move. It is a well-known fact that woodpeckers like acorns, so... Then the little stinker comes by, I will zoop him up in the vacuum machine. Yeah. Why don't you start? <laughs> now, I was getting mad. At this point, I decided I would have to use a little strategy. Disguising myself as a proper woodpecker, I would fool the little fella. Woody, my son, it's me, your papa. Hmm. I always thought I was an orphan. Come, I take you home and stuff, uh, feed you. Wise guy, no bloody rides without a ticket. Try to match with me, the professor, will you? Hi. Hello there. <laughs> It was a slam bang scuffle, but the big smart alley wound up being stuffed. Yeah. Well, I still had to catch the woodpecker, so I cooked up a very ingenious plot. <laughs> I was determined to catch that woodpecker.
Belong to you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Raven. Were you looking for someone? Let him have it, Hickory.